Okay, here you have two lines. Graphs of two lines are given to you and you are asked to find which of the following lines do you think just by looking at them has a greater rate of change. Before answering that, you have one more question. Is the slope the same as the rate of change? What do you think? The slope of the line, the slope, you know, we call, we say that the slope m is equal to rise over run. That is, in other words, as you move from left to right, how this uh, value of the function, the value y is changing from this x and y, uh, x is on the horizontal x-axis, as you are moving on the x-axis from left to right, how the y is changing. That's what is the rise over run, which is the slope. And that slope is same as the rate of change. So here I can go ahead and write down the slope is same as the rate of change. All right. So one part is done. Now you have a red graph and a blue one. Which one of these two you think has a greater rate of change? The rate of change, like I said here, which one is going higher at a shorter span of time? Like in lesser term as x is uh, smaller but the y is greater like that. So, pause for a minute and think which one of these two graphs has a, a greater slope. Alright. Now, you can conclude that. Think the blue line. The equation of the line is 2x minus y is equal to negative 4. Maybe this has a greater rate of change. See, you are seeing that it is inclined so much compared to this red line. Okay. So, you can say 2x minus y is equal to negative 4. And how do you know? Now, that is just by looking at the figure we said. Let us confirm it by following any one of the known methods. I'll show you by two methods and then you can follow any one of them. And again, I want you to practice by yourself by looking at the graphs like this. Okay. So, I have here 2x minus y is equal to negative 4. And I want to write it in the form of uh, y is equal to mx plus b, that is slope intercept form. So, what is the first step? To find, uh, to write it in slope intercept form, I have to get rid of this 2x. In order to cancel this 2x, do the opposite inverse operation, that is positive 2x, take away negative 2x. So, negative 2x and positive 2x cancel, you got negative y is equal to negative 2x. See, I'm just writing these two together, not adding or subtracting them, but just write them together, negative 2x minus 4. And you ended up getting a negative y. I am looking for a positive y. So, just multiply the whole expression by negative 1. That is multiplication property of equality. So, negative times negative is a positive y is equal to. Now, negative 1 times negative 2 gives you positive 2x. And again, positive 4 because 1 times 4 is 4 and negative and negative cancel you know. So, what is the slope? This m, right? That one, the slope is this and that matching. So, I will say in for the blue line, let me use blue, m is equal to 2. So, if you transformed the standard form of a linear equation into the slope intercept form, and you got your slope. Do the same thing to the red line also. Okay, so x minus y is equal to negative 1. Remove this x by subtracting x on both sides. Both sides. Take it off. Negative y is equal to negative x minus 1. Again, you have a negative y. 
multiply everything by negative 1 so positive y is equal to again positive negative of negative positive x plus 1 and there is no number here no numerical coefficient for x like mx you don't have so when x is there by itself by default you know that it is one time x one x so the slope m is equal to one see here the slope is one for the red line and for the blue line the slope is two so which one is greater like you said this one right and uh, finally i'll tell you how to do it by other another method using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so pick two points select any two points from each one of these two lines here let us say for the second line here x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is 1 and over here x coordinate is a negative 2 and y coordinate negative 1 so this is your x1 y1 and x2 y2 use the formula for slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 substitute and simplify you will get the same slope m is equal to 1 for the red line and m is equal to 2 for the blue line by selecting two points all right it is so very simple just identify first thing and tell which one of them has a better slope and uh, practically prove it by converting it into slope interest form that we did number of times okay thank you